Little Bear's Little Boat by Eve Bunting Little Bear loved his little boat. He rode it all around Huckleberry Lake. He fished from it. On sunny days, he lay back in it, closed his eyes and dreamed, and he was happy. When his mother called him in for bed, he pulled his little boat up to the shore. Good night, little boat, he said. I'll see you tomorrow. And he always did. But then, Something happened. Little Bear began to grow and grow. He got bigger and bigger. Soon he was not a little bear anymore. He was a big bear, and he didn't fit in his little boat. He tried to sit in it as it bobbed on the lake. But he and the little boat both sank down, down to the bottom of the blue, blue water. Where are you, my big bear? Mother called. Big Bear and his little boat both spluttered up. Glug, Big Bear said. You are too big a bear now to fit in that little boat, Mother said. It is a little bear's destiny to grow and grow till he is a big bear. It is a little boat's destiny to stay the same size. Big Bear was sad. I can't leave my little boat with no bear to sit in it or fish from it or dream in it, he said. It is a little boat's destiny to keep sailing on a blue, blue lake. He scratched his head. I know. I will find another little bear who will love my little boat the way I love it. Big Bear walked around Huckleberry Lake. Have you seen any little bears anywhere? He asked Beaver. Not since you are a little bear yourself, Beaver said. Otter hadn't seen a little bear either. But Blue Heron had. One lives with his mother on the other side of the lake, he said. I saw him eating berries this very morning. So Big Bear walked around the lake again and found the little bear. I have a little boat for you, Big Bear said. But there is one thing you should know. You will get bigger and bigger till you are a big bear. That is a little bear's destiny. The little bear listened carefully. The little boat will stay the same size because that is its destiny. When that happens, you must find another little bear to fit in the little boat, because it is also a little boat's destiny to keep sailing on a blue, blue lake. Will you promise? I promise, the little bear said. All summer long, Big Bear saw the little bear rowing the little boat around Huckleberry Lake and fishing from it. And, on sunny days, Big Bear would stop what he was doing and watch the little bear as he lay back in the little boat, dreaming. Big Bear could tell that the little bear was happy. Big Bear was happy, too. Little Bear loved his little boat. There was nothing he enjoyed more than sailing, fishing, and dreaming in it. But when Little Bear grew up, he was too heavy for his boat. 
he found another way to enjoy it by passing it on to another little bear. But what if there was a different solution to little bear's problem? Let's build our own boat and find out. We'll build our little boat out of corks. Take three corks and wrap them together with two rubber bands. Next, cut a two inch square piece of craft foam. You'll also need a toothpick and a nail. Use the nail to poke a hole in the very middle of the center cork. If your nail is small, wiggle it around a little bit to make the hole a little bigger. Then take your toothpick and gently push it into the hole. This will be our mast. Now it's time to attach the sail. Take the nail and poke a hole through the top of the craft foam and the bottom. Then slide it onto the mast. The little boat is ready. Let's test it out. Pour some water into a wide container. About three inches should do it. Or fill your bathtub about three inches. Drop in your boat and blow it around. The boat floats easily and smoothly across the water. The sail represents the weight of the little bear and the force of him rowing across the water. When you blow on the sail, it creates the same force, pushing the boat along. Using three corks makes the boat so wide that it can support the sail, just like little bear's little boat supported him when he was small. But what happened when little bear grew up? His boat seemed smaller in proportion to him. Let's simulate this change. Take off the two rubber bands and remove the outer corks. Then turn the sail 90 degrees on the mast. Let's try the experiment again with this version of the little boat. Drop it in and, oops, it tips. The boat is smaller now and no longer able to balance the weight of the sail. The boat is top heavy now, just like Little Bear's boat when he got bigger. So what could Little Bear do to avoid capsizing? He can't make himself shorter, but he can lower the center of gravity in his boat. He needs to build a ballast. Take a nail and poke it into the bottom of the boat. It might seem strange to add weight to the boat to help it float, but what we're doing is creating a counterweight. Remember, the weight of the sail is pulling the boat over to the side, but the weight of the nail in the bottom creates a ballast pulling the boat down. This downward pull will help the boat float straight. Let's test it out. Hmm, still not quite right. Still a little crooked. We need to add more weight to our ballast. Grab another nail and poke it into the bottom of the boat. Let's see if it worked. That looks better. Now the ballast has enough weight pulling down to counteract the force of the sail pulling the boat over. The heavy ballast changes the center of mass in the boat. Too bad Little Bear didn't know about this trick. But can we improve this design? In addition to a ballast, most modern boats also have something called a keel. We can create one by wrapping a piece of tin foil around the two nails. The keel is a fin-like structure that helps control sideways movements. It helps the boat to sail straighter and smoother. Let's see if it makes a difference. Notice how the boat is less likely to curve to the side now? The keel helps guide the boat on a straight path. It's a little bit like keeping the steering wheel of a car straight. Have fun experimenting with this little boat at home. Maybe even build both versions. Compare which boat is faster, which boat sails more straight, which is easier to control, and have a race. 
For more information about receiving STEAM kits, visit the Kids and Families page at coosbaylibrary.org.